Hi, my name is Alex McCann, and today we'll be going over dynamically adding values to a drop-down field in a Zoho Creator 4. We'll be using Zoho CRM as our external data source. Based on some filter criteria within the form that the user selects, we'll make an API call to Zoho CRM to dynamically populate a drop-down field that the user will ultimately be selecting before submitting the form. Hopefully this will help you figure out some use cases for your business. Yeah, let's get started. All right, so here we have our event registration form. We have our fields here, first name, last name, email, phone, and the idea is that the user will fill in this information. They'll select a particular craft category, whether it be woodworking, metalworking, glassworking, and then from there, a skill level dropdown will hide or show, and they'll select their skill level. Let's say I wanna select a beginner woodworking class, and then our workshop dropdown will then display a list of those classes that are dynamically populated into this dropdown from our Zoho CRM database. So in Zoho CRM, we actually have a, a workshop module. We have our craft category, the skill level, the type of class, the status, whether the class is open or full. Now this is pretty basic, but it can be based on, you know, particular registrants being logged against this record. And then that switches the status of open or full. You'd probably also have some type of capacity field to kind of just indicate how many particular participants can attend this class. Then we have our start and end date. So in our Zoho creator function, we're going to be pulling in that data. So based off the craft category selected, the skill level, the status being open, and any classes that are not in the past. So any classes that are available tomorrow or sometime in the future, we'll pull into this drop-down field here. Let's just go ahead and get started. So if we go to workflow, we have our populate workshops. So on user input of the skill level field, we want to populate in those workshops from Zoho CRM. So here I have just a quick function that we use, a COQL query or COQL query. From here, we're able to adjust this where our status is open and starts as greater than today. And then our craft category, we're going to actually add input dot craft category and we'll add this to our query string. And then our skill level going to also need to be updated. Skill level, grab that response. The workshops are equal to the response dot get data. So in order to populate the dropdown, we'll say if workshops.size is greater than zero. So if there's more than zero workshops found matching that certain criteria that we specified on our form, then we'll populate in the dropdown option. So our field here, which is workshop, we'll use colon UI dot add and we'll insert insert our workshops here but we don't want to just insert the data that's being pulled through because it's just a json response so we will actually say for each workshop in workshops and we could put this in our if statement We will say available workshop classes equals a list. For each workshop, there should be class name, a starts, and an end. So start building our string. So we'll say workshop name is equal to workshop.get class name plus 
in parentheses, just something very basic. Workshop tag kit starts plus workshop tag hit ends and parentheses. And then we will add that workshop to add workshop name. And then instead of adding that entire workshop response, we now have a list of workshop names that we could populate into our workshop field here. So we'll click update. One final thing that we need to add is a clear function. So we'll say clear workshop, and that should clear the data that's in that particular dropdown field. So if the user changes the category or anything like that, the list in the dropdown will repopulate. So say John Doe, we'll say John Doe at mail.com, or we'll say at test mail. We'll add a phone number, 555-555-555. And we'll just kind of walk through this. So woodworking, then we, once we select our skill level, we should see that the workshops are populated in. And it looks like this class name is wrong. So we will go back and we will correct that. It should actually be class, class here. And now if we go back, All right, so I'm just going to fill out this form here and we're going to say John Doe. And now that we have our information filled out, we'll select our craft category. We'll say woodworking. Then we could say skill level, intermediate, and then our workshop here. So we have a intermediate woodworking workshop available. And this is from the 17th of October through the 18th of October, pretty much an all day event. So if we change this to beginner, we could see that the workshop options get updated and that's pretty much it. So that's how you would dynamically populate a drop down field in Zoho Creator using the colon. So we do the field name, colon, ui.add, and then our list of options. So we just went over how to dynamically populate in values in a dropdown field in a Zoho Creator form. If you found this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you.